So we're gonna talk about the makeup that came out in January that we just absolutely hate, that just should not exist. Hey guys, Madison Murray here, welcome to my channel. Welcome back to my channel for today's video. We are doing an ANSI haul. We're going on the trend move page and finding things we hated in the month of January. Now, that being said, I look a little bit extreme. I'm wearing a wig. I was doing part of a uh, collab, makeup collab thing with a group of people and this was the look. So that being said, yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and do this because if I wanted to take the wig off, I'd have to take everything else off and I just did not feel it today. So I'm just going to scroll down. We are using, like always, Trend Mood. I guess I'll scoot over, give y'all that room to, you know, look at Trend Mood. Um, I cannot remember what all came out if I'm being honest. There was a lot of like cool things that were aesthetically pleasing, but not so much like that I would get if I'm remembering correctly. Okay, it's 29. Where's January? Come on. December 30th. December 30th. Okay. I'm still trying to find this is something we've talked about a lot, and that's what kind of kicked it off. It was the, um, it was available in Sephora, and that was kind of their announcement, and that was, like, January 1st. But it was the Too Faced, like, Butterfly collection, and we've already talked about this, um, so I won't go into too much detail. The only color I liked in it was the mint, and it was not a vibe. So, here we go. It is January, February-ish time, Lunar New Year, which is kind of like Zodiac signs. We love to see them, love that, but the collections are the worst. They are so bad, like, and I love ColourPop. Do not get me wrong, I love ColourPop. They're great, affordable. Some of their formulas are really good. Some of them leave a lot to be desired, but they did a... It's the year of the tiger, so it's a 2022 tiger lunar new year moment. Um, it just has like a little tiger doing like the lucky cat paw thing, and it's a nude palette and some reds and a highlighter. Like, y'all didn't even try. Like, it's, it's cutesy, it's good, and same goes for Clinique. They did... And I mean, they, this is kind of on brand for them. It's very boring. Um, but they did like a little highlighter Lunar New Year. And it's just a tiger stamped in there. That is it. Like, mm, no thank you. I do not, do not want. So, the Lunar New Year's. Is that another one? Uh, yep, it's another one. This is one that I don't think I've ever seen from this brand before. Okay, so Huda Beauty. I liked, I remember getting like the Jewel palette, whatever that was like really like popular and stuff. I'm like, yeah, it was fine. It's not that big of a deal. Um, but so how people did like the really cutesy, she did this new palette with a red lip and... It looks terrifying. Like, that is the most terrifying tiger I've ever seen. And the products may be amazing. Personally, I don't like nude palettes. That's probably why I hate this time of year because they're like, oh, Lunar New Year. Forget the colors of the animals or anything like that. Let's just nude palette. Red, gold. That's it. Like, it will make money. And I don't know if these actually make money. But I honestly thought that was the either NYX, NYX, however you pronounce it. I thought it was that brand. Um, and I just like pulled my hair in front of my face. But I thought it was that brand from like kind of how plain it looked. Uh, so Wet n Wild. Now I will go hard for Wet n Wild. I love Wet n Wild. But this is the exact same thing they released maybe this time. No, it was a December launch. It was the Star Lux launch. Um, and I literally have that same, like, palette almost. Yes, the colors are a little different. But that nude, it's like a matte. And then there's a shimmer and then a glitter. The glitters are exactly the same. And honestly, that palette leaves a lot to just be desired. Because it kind of, like, 
clumped up a little bit and it was kind of mm, started getting patchy but I still use that that's like my go-to like if I want kind of a cutesy little nude look that is my go-to palette I just use it um so it's still a good palette but like I could not justify getting this collab or is it even a collab or just new launch I think that's what it is it's just a new launch but it's like it's something at least different from just all the new lunar new year stuff and that lip gloss the little just pinkish silver it looks cute I would get the lip gloss but I don't wear too much lip gloss anymore and as I'm saying this is I have like glittery lips right now I just don't wear a whole lot of lip gloss on a normal basis because of the good old masks that we wear. Um, okay, new color pop because I push these things out like they're vitamins. Um, there's like a grape blend, mango, strawberry, coconut. Um, I don't know, I'm just kind of bored. I know last year they did, I think, like, ice cream ones, and those were kind of cool, but, like, I don't know. So this is one that I think is aesthetically pleasing, but I absolutely hate it. Um, this is an eyeshadow palette from Base Blue Cosmetics. Don't know this brand, don't know the quality. It could be absolutely amazing. Who am I to talk? I look like a peacock, which was the theme of this collab <laughs> so I am on theme but I look like a peacock so I don't really know if my words have any value here um but it is like the most aesthetically pleasing it's the girl with the uh pearl earring painting and I think this is part of like a series they were doing I don't know um I've just heard different things about it but um it's like 53 dollars a lot and it's seven colors so you have like a dark little like skin tone a very light one the red lip the white yellow and the blue background um it's it's honestly it's art it, at this point like I would not use it I feel like it would be very hard to use it because if I want that like what if I wanted that red lip right there that looks very tiny unless this is a huge palette but I don't I don't know it's very pretty though but it's just not, it's not it. Um, Pixie X Hello Kitty feels like it's on brand, very minimalistic. And I do like the little Hello Kitty like toppers that they have, but it feels like so many things have been done so much and it just kind of feels, it feels not it for me. I'm just going to say it like that. I don't want to say lazy because I mean, it's got some cute colors and stuff, but it's always, like, they're never, like, caring about actual Hello Kitty stuff. Like, I remember, this sounds so obnoxious, but, like, watching the show and stuff, like, there's so much more you could use. There's so much more scenario. Scenar scenario? Scenario? Whatever Hello Kitty's, like, company brand is, there's so much more from that you can use. Like, it's always the pink bow and just the kitty outline. Like, you could do, like, a whole eyeshadow palette based off of Hello Kitty's look. Like, she got... She got all these different glows. Like, mmm. Uh, anyway, so I don't know. It just feels overdone and just kind of like I wouldn't get it. But people would get it. And I'm sure that it's probably amazing quality and it's probably really great. I'm never talking about like that aspect of it unless I've actually tried the brand and I absolutely hated it. Um, so, another Lunar New Year Estelle Lauder. Um, again giving us the same thing we've had since Lunar New Year palettes have become popular. A red lip, red and gold packaging. The only thing different is like this little compact and like she's giving us something, but it's not enough. I don't know. It's like the, the brands that are like, like luxury, bougie, whatever you want to call it. I don't like because there's just so much that they do that's the same. Mac with the Ruby Woo 15,000 times over. Again, I look like a peacock, so I can't talk, but it's like, what? Um, another color pop. Um, it's three collections, but it's not really saying what they are. I think there's another one that says the names of them. 
because I know I've seen them. They're kind of like a bee, a dragon's fly, and like something else. But they remind me of something that just launched. Here it is. It's wannabe. Is it dollfly and glow something? All the buzz. Okay, so wannabe shadow, so far shadow, glow getter. Okay. Um, it just feels like something they've have recently launched. And I just I can't justify buying it. Um now this one is gonna hurt me to talk about. I love profusion. I I go hard for profusion. And there's some things in this collection that look really cute. I want to talk about this eyeshadow palette. I, I, I love Profusion. Like, I think the little idea of the little sponge holder is cute. Honestly, I don't spend too much on the sponge, so if the sponge is cheap, I'll get it. Um, the little bag's cute. The eye uh, lashes, I, slashes, eyelashes, um, they're cute because it's like, if I can get a close-up of them, I think they're different colored. It's like one's blue. They don't have any close-ups of that eyeshadow. Or that eyelashes. Um, so it's like one's red, one's green. And either one is blue or one is just plain. I think those are really cute. I think those are adorable. Um, my problem with the eyeshadow. Now it's really cute, really cool concept. But how tiny are those pans? Because if I'm about to spend like maybe $20. Maybe $15. On an eyeshadow palette. And it looks really tiny. I'm looking at both like the real image and then that image. They could be a lot bigger in person. I won't know until I actually see it in person. But as of right now, I can't justify getting this because those pans look really small. And the ones that are the smallest are these little glittery shades. And it kind of upsets me because those are other ones that I would want to use the most. But I love Profusion. I, I go hard for Profusion. It's very hard for me to be upset with Profusion. Um... And that might be it. Yeah, I think that's it. There wasn't too much to hate, too much to love. We were kind of in an equal equilibrium for January with this. So that's the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. If you made it this far into the video, um, leave a like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. What was your favorite thing in January? What was your least favorite thing in January? Makeup launch wise. Um, or nail launch wise because apparently there's a lot of nail products coming out also in perfumes a lot of perfumes but that being said it's the end of the video and i'll see y'all next time i upload every wednesday and friday